Hey you all, welcome back, welcome back to another video. In today's video, of course, it is Friday, so we'll be going over the subscribers, news, and comments. Yes, that's you guys, where I go to the comments and I just randomly pick some comments and read them. And, you know, basically I would like you all feedback on the comments that I do read. Um, anything that you have to add to it is welcome for you guys to add in the comments, of course, always. Also... We'll be going over some more of the, I guess, worldwide news as well and some stuff on Facebook that I've noticed throughout the week. And I'm like, hey, my family over here on YouTube would love to probably hear this, but I'll save it for Fridays because Fridays is the day when I sit here, told y'all, have y'all drink this Friday. Mine's is usually coffee. Next week, I might do a cold beverage. Um... We'll see. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. You can do that by pressing that red subscribe button. And right next to it, there's a bell. Press your notification bell so you do know when I upload. Um, just in case you guys hear a click noise in the background, off and on, that's my air conditioner. We are hot, hot, hot up here in New Jersey. Um, I think we're like 80 something today. So you might hear that in the background. So excuse that in advance. Um, and if you've been here before, what is up, family? Thank you for coming back. Like the video, share the video if your heart moves you to, and always be willing to comment if you feel like it. If you want to just press that thumbs up and keep it moving, you can do that too. I appreciate it all, but thank you for at least tuning in. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that we're going to see, what are the top 12? I'm going to leave this link here in the... um in the description box so according to money talks this is called money talks news i don't know if you guys read that or not the top 12 shortages that's right now if you guys agree let me know if you guys disagree also let me know in the comments down below that's how we're going to start this today what are the top 12 shortages if any of this fall in the top 12 and you're seeing that as well let me know so they're coming in for number one which is baby formula i don't know if you guys can see that let me see if I can all right so I'm just gonna read it I'll leave the link because it's looking kind of you know glary so baby formula is number one number two is feminine care products so if you're not stocked up on that definitely stock up I'm starting to see more and more places with the baby formula limits i went to one of the local grocery stores today i'm going to insert some pictures at the end of the video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well i'm going to enter just a few pictures because of course i have a full walkthrough of that as well at a local grocery store but this one i went to they had a limit of three baby formulas three how for baby formula if you have an infant or you know someone with an infant um how long do three cans of baby formula really last though all right, number three, airline pilots. Yes, I have been hearing of flights being canceled due to the shortage of airline pilots. Um, pilots, number four, contrast dye is also, there's a shortage on that. So contrast dye is basically something that um, the hospitals use to... Um, let's say it goes to like the IV and stuff like that if you know more about that go ahead and leave it in the comments but for what I know I know it definitely goes through the IV the dye goes through the IV to kind of flush out whatever it is that they was using to go into your body like for me for instance I was getting iron transfusions and they used the dye to basically flush out the um iron to make sure that it all went in there's a shortage on popcorn. I didn't know that, though I have been seeing gaps with the popcorn. And I'm like, so it's a shortage with the popcorn or not? But I try not to blame everything. Like, hey, um, the paper is missing. And then I'm like, oh, maybe it's a shortage with paper. I try not to put everything on a shortage. But I guess it is a popcorn shortage because I was wondering myself, like, where's the popcorn at? electric vehicles now isn't that funny everybody trying to get an electric vehicle now or they just can't make it um it says if you want an electric car soon prepare to pay more than a sticker price yes 
I know some electric vehicles, I think it's hybrid. So if you're going to get an electric vehicle, get a hybrid because I knew, I do know that they have the backup gas. Lithium, there's a shortage on lithium. So that was number seven. Number six was electric vehicles, guys. Um, number five was popcorn. Make sure you guys are keeping up if I'm not saying the numbers. Number eight, very important. I know summertime, people like to go to the beaches, to the pools. Um, this is very important. Number eight, there's a shortage on lifeguards. So be very careful and mindful. If it's only one lifeguard, they're probably not seeing everything. So watch your children extra close when you're going to the pool and to the beach, especially if you know you're not a swimmer, swimmer, and you can't really get down there, you know, to be saving nobody. I know I ain't no swimmer, swimmer. That's one thing I, I need to work on. Um, so yes, number eight, there's a shortage on lifeguards. Helium, we talked about this in one of the videos. Um, there's a shortage on helium as well. Number 10, sriracha. There's a shortage on sriracha. I think people can go without it unless you addict it. The semiconductor chips. So these are like computer chips. Um, there's a shortage on that as well. That's number 11. Number 12, for camp counselors. So, counselors, there's a shortage on that as well. And I think that was it. That was 12. So, just a recap, guys. The 12 shortages that's hitting right now is baby formula, feminine care products, airline pilots, contrast dye, popcorn, electric vehicles, lithium, lifeguards, Helium, Sriracha, Semiconductor Chips, Camp Counselors. That's 12 shortages. Anything that you will add to the list, drop it down below in the comments. Now, let's go ahead and just do a few readings and we'll share some pictures as well. All right, so first we're going to go over our YouTube's um, comments. So that's you guys. Um, lately, I've been really just going straight to Facebook. I haven't been, been given youtube comments much love guys but i i have been getting comments <clears throat> but like i told you guys before it's summertime so what's happening is i'm not getting back to the comments as fast as i used to because i'm literally always with the children they just got into a summer camp which is great but it's only till one o'clock y'all so right now it's 11 o'clock baby is napping the baby is napping y'all she's napping Took her to the park, ran her around and said, girl, you want to sleep today. That's what I did. But ain't got nothing to do with these comments. But while I'm looking through the comments, I want to have a chit chat with y'all. That's all. All right. So first comment is from John King. Did I respond to you yet? I am so sorry I didn't, but I have been responding. So John King. John King, let me tell y'all about this commenter. He do not like no Walmart, <laughs> y'all. He just like done with Walmart. And I get it. Walmart did take over a lot of small businesses. And I feel like as all of this stuff go on, now is the time that we would need these small businesses. And I feel it because what happened was Walmart did. I agree with you, John. I'm going to say that I definitely agree with you. Walmart definitely shut down a lot of small businesses. So now what's happening, I mentioned this before as well. A lot of people are basically dependent on Walmart. So they're going to these Walmarts. So like I said, you can get your convenience items. You can get your um, household items. You can get your food items. You can get everything in one spot. But as the shortages hit, these small businesses, big businesses would be a great, <clears throat> um, it would be great to have in your community. So if you don't have it and you only have Walmart, boom. That Walmart shut down. Then what you're going to do? Is a person going to be able to travel far, far out just to get to maybe three to four stores? You know, I get it. You know, I definitely get it. Um, So John King, as you know, I hate Walmart. I feel you. And I wanted to see for myself what an Alaskan. So he's from Alaska. Shout out to you. Walmart was doing did some shopping while there and it was stocked up on all items with no empty spots anywhere what the eggs were the only noticeable item lower than normal but everything air conditioning kicking in 
but everything is getting exp expensive, even for an expensive state like Alaska. So it still makes me curious as to why some locations look like the end of the world and others don't. Well, to answer your questions, I guess it depends on your surrounding area. Like you say, you are from Alaska, so what is your surrounding area look like? I'm from New Jersey, and I'm from the city, so my surrounding area is basically overpopulated. What I personally think that they're trying to do or what they're going to do is depopulate, you know, unfortunately, because it's only the, only the truth, they're going to depopulate areas like mines, um... So trying to get rid of as many people as possible, people who can't survive off of minimum wage, first thing. Um, and we rely on stores like Walmart, even though we have local stores, what the local stores are doing is they're overcharging for a lot of items, which make it unaffordable, right? So we have to go to Walmart. So our Walmarts, unfortunately, look like what you said, the end of the world <laughs> on some days, you know, but I guess, like I said, it depends on what your surrounding area looks like. Um, but John King, thank you for always coming to the comments and keeping it real. He does not bite his tongue, y'all. He does not. But, you know, I take it. I take constructive criticism very well. If it's that, um, I'm not saying that's what he's doing. But when I come to the comments, I do see some of the comments. And it's like, whoa, you could have toned that down a notch. But the way that I take it, I can't speak for everybody the way that I take it. You know, I take and I learn from some things from the comments. And it is what it is. All right, so if you do not know what's going on with the Dutch farmers, I'm going to link the video right here above because there's another sign. It's a telltale sign. It's the, if you don't grow your own food, you won't survive kind of sign. Um, so from Linda Thompson. All right, I have been watching what's going on with the Dutch farmers. And they are fighting to do just what they've always done. Grow food. It's a worldwide food crisis situation, and most Americans don't even have a clue that what we're eating now is last year's crop. And I agree. Um, so just imagine, just imagine, y'all, how bad the shortages are going to be by next winter. And if you're not stocking up, I promise you guys, you can get this stuff. I always say it dehydrated. If you got access to a freeze dryer, Freeze dry your food. Can your food. I'm talking all of this stuff and I'm working to do most of the stuff that I'm telling you guys as well. Because why? I want to make sure that my family is good. That's what I want to do. But, you know, I can only raise, continue to raise awareness and hopefully put as many people on as I can. I ran into a few people during the week that actually notice me from youtube and i'm like you know just just thank you for your support and actually listening because all it takes is for you to listen the information that we're given is free all you have to do is go and apply it let's go back to the comment because some people really not listening and it's sad you know it's really sad all we can do like i said the information that you're receiving is free i'm sorry um back to linda thompson um yeah, so we're eating last year's crop. Lots of farmers and truckers have been trying to warn Americans for months, but people too busy watching and reading celebrity news and nonsense. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much, Linda. One thing I can tell you all, I don't take the time out to worry about what's going on with um, who's very popular in the Beyonce, let's see, and Jay Z, and some people watch. I guess I mean I don't knock you if you do, but some people are into like reality TV and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm one of those people that's just not into any of it. Um, I can sit down and watch something on TLC, maybe um, something real light, but it's rarely. I rather just read like an article or hop on YouTube, listen to what's really going on because you can't rely on that the mainstream media, y'all. Uh, but no, I'm not into TV, guys. I'm not really into, like, TV. I could watch a good movie here and there, but I'm really not into TV, y'all. Um, all right, so from Tone, hey, how you doing? I always appreciate how she always pop in when I actually get a chance to do a live stream. Um, hopefully, everything is going well. What the heck is going on in the world? I guess they really trying to starve the people into submission. God help us all. You know.
That's all I'm going to say. You know. Somebody, Freedom from Central Banker says, folks, you are running out of time. I'm going to give you a heart right now. I'm going to go back and respond to y'all comments. All right, from Jania Jacobs. I'm in Southeast Arkansas. So weird. But every store down here has their towel and washcloths on sale. You know what? That is weird. Remember, there's also a cotton shortage. Um, So for towels and washcloths to be on sale, depending on the material, that's kind of weird. What I'm noticing is there's a gap with our towels and our washcloths. So thank you for sharing that in the comments. I'm going to read one more comment. Like I said, I'm just randomly picking comments from Geo yesterday. I feel like the SHTF or the apocalypse scenario is now. But many expect it to happen all at once. It's not going to happen all at once. It's going to come in like, like phases and stuff. It's not happening that way. <clears throat> it's something gradually you can see things shifting daily. It's kind of like plants. You can't see them grow, but you know each day it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I agree. Or like a snowball running down a hill. In this case, worse. Don't think it's all bad. Not really because if things collapse, we are free. Things can't last forever. Especially when this system is built off of hate and lies. Gio? I agree with you. And what I think is, what I think is people are, some people who don't believe what's going on, they're running to the government and they are hoping for their government to help them, to save them. And what's going to happen is once the government shut down, everything shut down, it's going to be over with. All right. So yes, I'm going to say this because I am, don't trust the government. Do not trust your government don't listen but if you want to you know do what you want to do but honestly the system is built off of hate and lies and everybody who's part of the i guess the the the, the higher systems and stuff like that however it works i'm not into politics i'm not going to get into politics but everybody is fighting over power and control um who's going to be in control who's going to have the most power there listen i'm gonna leave that right there um, wait, I said I was going to read one more. Let me read one more comment, actually. So from Sandra Lewis, made my first Walmart shopping run in over two years on a quiet Wednesday afternoon. We wanted to make cherry popsicles and found everything at a reasonable price. That's great. $5 for 66 ounces of 100% tart cherry juice. $5.94. For 10 pounds of white sugar, $2.97 for 16 ounces of dark caro syrup, $1.94 for 100 little plastic bathroom cups, reusable. I was happy. This will make hundreds of popsicles for a fraction of the retail cost, plus very little waste. That's correct. I can save drinking water in the plastic juice bottles. Our cost per popsicle works out about to a nickel a pop. You know what? That's great. I might have to go ahead and look into that this summer for my kids because it's all about saving money. So if you also make popsicles this way, that's amazing. If you don't and you want to go ahead and try it this way, go ahead. I'm actually going to take a copy of this comment here and I'm going to pin it right here on the screen so you can jot down whatever it is that you need. Um... And go make popsicles for your kids. You can make these into like little adult popsicles too if you want to. I'm not with it, but I seen something like this on what TikTok or Facebook um, reels. Just to let you guys know, if you are a YouTuber, well, not if you're a content creator and you over here on YouTube as of July 29th, if you are hiding your subscribers, they will be public as of July 29th or something like that. Um. So, if it's really that important to you guys, I want to let you guys know that will be happening. So, let's go over to... Alright guys, so here's like, I guess this is a tip in a drop your tips as well in the comments down below kind of comment. So, this is over on Facebook. I'm not going to get too much into 
the Facebook, um, what's going on over there. I'm just going to read this one thing from Facebook. I think this kind of thing, me reading from Facebook because it do take up some time. I'm going to do that in a separate video because it's some real juicy information. So make sure y'all stay tuned. I might do a midweek upload. I said it before. Um, but I didn't find the time. I'm always out here hitting these straights, y'all. All right. The last several months. There we go. I'm sorry. So the last several months since this food shortage started, I have had numerous people ask how I shop differently to feed my family of eight. I will say the way we shop has drastically changed. We went from spending $1,500 a month to $1,000 a month. We no longer buy canned biscuits, croissants, yogurt, or cereal. We only buy the Ritz or saltine crackers that's used for soups or to eat as a snack. We put peanut butter on them. We stock up on large containers of peanut butter and buy eight loaves of bread or more. Hoagie rolls, buns, bagels, etc. We buy cream of wheat, oatmeal, and pancake batter. We no longer buy packets of oatmeal in the boxes. We don't buy junk food unless someone's craving something in particular. We grow our own vegetables and fruits. It's good to have your own chickens for your eggs. So if you have access to have chickens and stuff, at least. We buy bulk eggs, lunch meat from the deli, sausage, chicken, ham, and hamburger pot rolls. We no longer buy seafood. Seafood is expensive. Prime ribs or steaks. We make our own burgers and make our own biscuits, gravy, soup, bread, etc. We bake more, buy more sugar, flour, veggie oil. We no longer buy olive oil. We always buy box pudding, mac and cheese, canned foods, all under $1. Also, a great item to use in oatmeal is apple pie filling. It's so good. So that's what she says. I never tried this. So let me know if you guys tried that. Anyways, hope these tips help. Buy more coffee, tea bags, cocoa, and canned or powdered milk. Find ways to cut back on the grocery bills to save money every month. It can be done. What are your tips? How do you save money and what not to buy? So what are some things that you guys cut back on? And what are some tips that you're willing to add on to this list? Um, let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave that right there. Those were some great tips as well. She took out a bunch of stuff, making her own biscuits, croissants. She don't buy yogurt or cereals anymore. Um, so instead of yogurts and cereal and stuff, they replace it with oatmeal. So oats is something that sticks to you. It is guaranteed to keep you full. So that makes sense. Um, and yes, it's much smarter to buy eggs by the bulk rather than buying them by the dozen. So, definitely that was great. Leave some more tips, add them on, put them in the comments down below. Everything is welcome here. Lastly, I'm just going to share maybe a picture or two because it will be part of a video coming up. Um, I'm going to share a picture or two of the store that I went into today, y'all. Listen, it's real out here. I just want you all to, of course, stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe, have a beautiful weekend because it is Friday. Like I said, I have my grandmother visiting here from Florida. I'm going to enjoy the rest of her time here because she leaves tomorrow. She's been here all week, y'all. So my video has been a look because family is first, right? Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you all stay beautiful, queens and kings. Do what you can do while you can do it. And I always stress it. Thank you for tuning in. Step, wait though, press that subscribe button. If you ain't subscribed by now, make sure you're subscribed because stuff over here do get juicy, okay? It gets juicy a little bit. That's if you like juice. If you don't like juice, it get watery, okay? Um, <laughs> but press that subscribe button. I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta go pick my kids up soon. And look at these little pictures and let me know what y'all think about that. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm.